so as you can see the last has been masked so we have located all the cardinal points on the last you can see the lines so um the next thing now is to start the drawing so we are going to measure one inch from here down to this place one inch and then we take another one inch from here you see that then we start the drawing from here So now we are going to measure around this area where the stripe has to pass through. One inch, one inch. So we are going to leave a gap of uh, one and a half inch again one and a half inch and then another one and a half inch and then let me mark out the outline of the strap And then we measure another one and a half inch gap and then another one and a half inch. This is the location where the test tool has to be. So this is where it's supposed to be. So you can see the pattern have been sketched. Remember here to here is two and a half inch. That's the counterpoint, two and a half inch. So now we are going to create our stitching lines we're going to create our stitching lines 
so in this case we're going to use our compass so you measure five millimeters from your tip with the compass five millimeters or 0.3 inch either five millimeters or 0.3 inch and then you start from this point and then you mark this is going to be the gap for the stitching line because um, we are going to be hand stitching this tongue understand we're going to use hand stitching for this design so um, you mark it so you continue marking until you get to the center line So um, these are the gaps, these are the gaps in between the stitches, these are the gaps, I'm marking them out now. So you can see the whole drawing, um, it is almost done. So let us um, cut it out now and move to the next step. So after cutting out the pattern, you paste it on your cardboard sheet. Uh, make sure you avoid too much creeps on the masking so you take your time to make sure you get the shape very well pasted on the cardboard So we are going to give this area a slight cut 
just some slight cuts so that we'll be able to get the shape properly then the next thing you use your ruler to adjust um, these lines along the van point take this line from here to the van point and from there again you extend it towards the cap So now we are going to be adding our lasting allowance and I'm going to be adding one inch along the, the lasting line, one inch. then you add your stitching allowance that is half inch you add half inch here as your stitching allowance So now we are going to spring the vamp as usual. So we're going to cut to this point here on both sides. So we cut from here on the vamp line towards that um, point, the center. And then we cut here too. So you can see our straight line have been drawn so you place the pattern you spring it make sure it's on the straight line make sure it's on the straight line and then you use your tape your masking tape to hold the two parts firm
so the vamp have been sprinkled so the next thing we are going to be doing now we are going to punch the stitching holes you can see the stitching holes here so we are going to punch them we are going to punch them you can see them see the stitching holes we are going to punch them so now you can see I have punched the stitching holes you see the holes on both sides they are double so you punch here punch here punch here 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 and here and here is your stitching allowance line so now we're going over to the next step so now you draw a straight line again on your cardboard paper so you place the pattern on the straight line and then you sketch it out you sketch the pattern out make sure you note all the holes the stitching holes the strap holes make sure you outline them So after outlining the pattern, the half of the pattern, then you fold the cardboard sheet from the center line into two, you fold it into two. So after folding it into two from the center line, you use your staple to hold it firm so that it won't change, it won't uh, move while cutting the pattern. So after putting staple on the pattern, you now cut it into shape. So after cutting it into shape, you punch the holes, the outlines of the holes. You can see the stitching holes, the strap holes also. And after that, you remove the staple pin. So you can see we are done with this, the pattern is ready. So um, the part 2 of this video is going to be uh, the conclusion part where we have to create the pattern on the leather and then the last thing and the finished outcome of the whole um, tutorial 
so don't forget to subscribe and also hit the bell icon to get updates as soon as videos drops so thank you um see you in our next video and uh, have a nice day